<sighs> what is up, everybody? It's your boy Doublecast, aka YouTube's number one Nozomi Tojo stan, and welcome back to yet another episode of Let's Play Pokemon Shield. In the last episode, we did some grinding out in the wild area to uh, acquire a new party member. Sonia, do you have anything interesting to say? Okay, you're just directing us up there. Acquire a new party member, gain some levels, get some evolutions, learn some new moves, just overall good stuff. And uh, today we're seeing what's going on in the ruins. Oh yeah, we also beat Alistair. Destroy it, destroy it all. We're going to find those wishing stars. Bead, what are you up to? I'm still, you're, you are drawn so much like an old woman, it is not even funny. Uh, feel grateful for this chance to help him find wishing star. The chairman's Pokemon? Bead, what kind of shit are you pulling? Oh my, you again. Oh, sorry. So, you think that you can start collecting wishing stars now and get in the chairman's favor? That's the way of things, is it? I see. So you do have some cunning in you. But I won't have it. I won't allow anyone to stand in my way. Alright, well, I guess we're fighting Bead today. That's fine by me. He's a monotype psychic trainer, so it's not like I'm not prepared. Unlike before. Alright, you'll be facing Jaraxxus today, Bead. Uh, we're just gonna go directly for False Surrender and see how much that does. Nice! Yeah, Jaraxxus is real good now, and he's not even in his final evolution yet. Again, Bead, I really cannot overstate... Um, did not see what that was. Hatrem. Uh, okay, yeah, I don't think this thing gets its fairy typing. Yes, okay, it's shuttered, so that means that it is vulnerable. I think when this thing evolves to its third stage, it does gain fairy typing, but thankfully, we won't have to worry about that yet. Do have to worry about that? Mmm, that ain't good. We're gonna go for a sucker punch here. There we go. I may have to heal up Jaraxxus here before we go on. Uh, dummy Thick gained a level. Uh, Pluck. And it's due, it knows Aerial Ace right now. Pluck does have a fringe benefit over Aerial Ace, but Aerial Ace always hits. And I think that is actually, since it gets the accuracy drop, that's definitely more important. Actually, I think the accuracy is just more important in general. Um, Ponyta. Doo -doo 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 -doo. That thing is definitely half Psychic, half Fairy. Um, so I don't think that Night Slash would work against it. I'm just gonna Earthquake it. This is the nice thing about having Roadhog now, is that um, anytime I just need like a generic physical attacker, I can just throw this thing in and Earthquake something. And it'll probably do a lot of damage. Let's see how much this does. And we're even faster than it. Beautiful. Oh, look at that. Didn't even need a type advantage. Oh, I'm I'm so glad I took the time to level that thing up. Uh, Gotharita. Um, well, ideally, I wouldn't have to use a healing item. So let's let's see how this goes. If I can get away with it, it's only it's only the second stage. Uh, I don't think this thing has good defenses. Yeah, nice thing about uh, <laughs> going up against Psychic types. They are notoriously, many of them are notoriously squishy. Yeah, Bead, I, I find a hard time buying that like you're supposed to be like the challenging rival and Hop is supposed to be like the the fun dopey guy who doesn't know what he's doing. I'm really like I'm I'm experiencing some ludo narrative dissonance right now. Not feeling it. Uh, I wondered what you were up to when you asked to borrow Chairman Rose's Copra jaw. Why'd he just give it to him? Oh, Copperaja. I believe you uh, to destroy a historical site. Who cares for some ancient ruin when the next thousand years are at stake? Thousand years stand of a, <laughs> a Pokemon simple beam or something. Support the chairman with that sort of thinking. What do you mean thousands of years at stake? 
pains me to say this, but I am just, uh... It's true I'm the one who found you back when you were all alone. Uh, I saw talent in you. You reminded me a bit of... Okay, so is B like an orphan? Is that what happened here? Sent you to trainer school, gave you a chance at success. Trying to destroy the mural, part of Gaylor's history. You show no love toward Gaylor. Clearly not a worthy challenger for the gym challenge. We will decide what to do with you later. For now, you will return to Hammerlock. Hmm. You must be joking, right? You're just cool. Well, I mean, you did try to destroy a UNESCO World Heritage Site. That's kind of a big deal. Uh, that's typically frowned upon. Uh, taking those wishing stars that you have gathered. Okay, well this raises some questions though, because clearly Bede had a reason for gathering wishing stars, and he seemed to imply that it was Rose that set him on the mission. Interesting. Something is being hidden from us. Has no family, apparently it was Rose who, yeah, he, he's an orphan. Damn, very sad. What an awful turn of events. I hope the mural survived all that. And it seems mostly intact. Oh, never mind. Um. All right, sure. <laughs> Sonya's like, wait a minute, I've seen this before. I've got it. The two young men were actually dogs. No, no. The dogs are just there for Sonas. Not a brilliant turn of events, but the ruins were brought into the light for us to see. What does this tell us about Gaylor's legends? Pokemon? Right. More than any hero, there's these things that appear to be the Pokemon that stand out. Not just that, but those Pokemon appear to be holding a sword and a shield, as if they were using them. Anything else look interesting to you? Uh, the hero was actually two people, or two dogs. These really were two heroes. But that's, uh, it's, uh, one statue at the Budu drop in. I don't know. Maybe it's like the, that statue in, um, Diamond and Pearl that looks like both Dialga and Palkia, depending on how you color it. That was a cool piece of, uh, trivia there. Uh, which means... The shield is a Pokemon?! Yep, I was thinking the same thing. Seems like at some point in history, the sword and shield were combined with the two actual Pokemon, treating them as the same thing. Then what, they just faded from history? Two young heroes, the sword and the shield, were actually Pokemon, but why would the truth of these runes be hidden when their stories were depicted in artwork? I don't know, man. Legends change over time. It's the, the big historical game of telephone, you know? Uh, I guess you'll be heading to Balonlea next, right? Yeah. Get two revives for our trouble. Not bad. Uh, all right. So first of all, did they heal us up after that? No. So I have to go to a Pokemon Center. I'll be right back. Okay, so after healing up at the Pokemon Center and consulting with the town map, it looks like in order to get to Balanlea, Balanlea? I don't care. We have to go through an area called the Glimwood Tangle, which I guess is just north of here. However, before I do that, there is one more thing I'd like to do in the wild area, so I'm just going to cut ahead to that. Cannot believe some a Mudbray gets the last hit on it, really? Weak shit, weak shit. Please, in the name of all that is holy, give me what I'm looking for. Energy ball and grass knot, mother fuck. Come on. Mm, seed bomb! Alright, let's see if I can finish this thing. Yeah! Take that, you fucking Mexican stereotype pineapple. Uh, let's get you an uh, Ultra Ball. Come on! I actually really love Ludicolo. Probably would have used it on my team if I had not picked the Water Starter. Again, the thing about this game, so so many good team options, I just don't know what to pick. 
Nice. For the love of God, seed bomb. Yes! Yes! Thank the Lord. Oh my God. I had to walk away from this game, come back to it the next day to wait for every, all the, the freaking raid dens to reset. Uh, yeah, I didn't explain this properly, but basically because I took Roselia off my team uh, to add dummy thick, I don't have a grass type anymore. So I was like, oh, uh, I know how I can get around this. I'll get um, the TM for Leaf, the TR, excuse me, for Leaf Blade and uh, teach it to Thought Patrol so I can have a grass move. So, you know, just in case I encounter, say, like a water ground type or something like that, you know, I'll be prepared. I'm gonna get rid of Night Slash for this because Hypnosis can come in handy, uh, especially when dealing with like legendaries. Um, and then it ended up being uh, a huge pain in the ass to get because none of the. Uh, None of the Watt traders were selling it, so I had to fight some Dynamax battles. Um, anyway, I'm going to use the XP candies I got from those uh, Dynamax battles on Dummy Thick to hopefully get it caught up to the rest of my team, and then I shall return to Stow on Side and uh, get, get back on track, get back with the plot. See you shortly. Okay, I have returned to Stow on side, got my team healed up, and I am ready to move on. Let us get things going. So we are going to, I think it was called the Glimwood Tangle. Yeah, it was right over here the whole time. Uh, let us see what this entails. Now, if I recall correctly, this is one of, is this one of those areas with, yeah, glowing mushrooms. We stand an area with glowing mushrooms. Hey, Impidimps. Um, guess I could have waited a little bit to get one of those, but you know what? Then I wouldn't have had it for that gym battle. That would have been highly disappointing. What do you got, fam? Looking for mushrooms? They give off a light when you touch them. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. Do any of you remember that? It's, uh... I don't know if Badger Badger Mushroom has, like, stuck around or if that's something that, like, everyone has just kind of forgotten about now. All right, so I think everyone here is going to be using Fairy Types, which is unfortunate because Thought Patrol needs the levels the most and it's weak to them. Uh, you know what? I haven't used Tea Lizard since it evolved. Might as well show that off a bit. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, until Rip Skarmory uh, evolves... You're going to be tragically without a way to deal with any fairy types for the foreseeable future. So this area may be kind of annoying. At least, uh, you know what? At least Inteleon is putting in some work. And take, uh, take some comfort in that. Uh, Shinotic can actually swap in Rip Skarmory for that since... Uh, flying is going to be super effective against this. I forget if Shinotic has Effect Spore. Effect Spore is an ability that I absolutely despise going up against, but love using myself. Um, every time I play uh, Emerald, I really like using a Breloom on my team because I just love getting to like randomly paralyze and poison people. That's just like a fun little bonus. I don't actually know what this thing is. Sinisty. Is that a... Oh, you know what? I think that's a ghost type teacup. So I think we're gonna go with Jaraxxus for that. I've definitely, I saw that thing uh, when I was like looking through the new Pokemon. I just forgot what it was called, but I'm pretty sure this thing is ghost type. Astonish never has never been good, and it continues to not be good. Yeah, there we go. Nice and easy. Yeah, with any luck, most of the battles from this point forward will be similar difficulty to this one, even without the fairy type advantage. Uh oh, is this a was wait, was this a dead end? Am I just a clown? Oh, 
Ah, I see. Do, 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 do. Um, can we get a little more light in here? Thank you. Uh, get an item. A bag of bright powder. Uh, lowers opposing Pokemon's accuracy. Annoying, not necessarily useful. Yeah, so if you didn't pick up an Impidimp for whatever reason in the wild area, if you're not like me and you just need to have all of your teammates as soon as humanly possible or all your team members. Big Roots increases the power of HP stealing moves. Ah, Phantom. Uh, this thing is a ghost grass type and I don't feel like dealing with it. Later. Those things are not particularly good. I think that, is that a double battle up ahead? What I'm going to do is put, since a lot of people use fairies here, I'm gonna put Jaraxxus, or not fairies, no. Jaraxxus won't be good against fairies. I'm gonna put you here, and then we'll just keep using Tea Lizard since it seems to be just generally pretty effective against most things. Let's fight a double battle, see how this goes. Railways are amazing. You know, I am I am a bit of a train fan myself. Uh, I'm I'm more of a I'm not so much like a, a rail fan specifically as I am just like a big numtot. Um, new urbanist numtot. In case you didn't know, is a Facebook group. New urbanist memes for transit oriented teens, which is like memes about loving public transit. Uh, I don't really well. Hmm, this is awkward. We're gonna try, you know what, I'll just use a Leaf Blade, even though it's not super effective. Maybe, ironically, maybe the better thing was to have, do Snipe Shot against Curlia and then Close Combat Ninetales. I doubt this will matter. Uh, Draxus gains a level, that's kind of nice. Eh, yeah, it, it literally did not matter at all. The nice thing about having uh, stage three Pokemon at this game, at this point in the game, you're just a step above everyone else. Okay, now I believe there was a TM over here. Uh, TM24 Snore, an attack you can use while sleeping. Um. Not a big fan of that one. There are some strategies that can make good use of it, where like you use rest such that like your Pokemon is pretty much always asleep. Uh, okay, I think I have to go around. Bring it around town. Let's fight this lady first. I'm gonna cut out that battle because it was just sort of more of what you were already seeing. You know, I feel bad. I did not check earlier. I didn't do my due diligence as a, less a Let's Player. Luminous Moss boosts special defense if the holder is hit by a water type move. That's so specific. Um, damn it. All right, gotta go back around. Um, didn't do my due diligence as a Let's Player because I should have checked to see if there was some sort of arbitrary barrier there we go. Oh, TM56 U-turn. That's a pretty good move. Um, getting all kinds of good stuff around here. Um, I did not check to see if there was an arbitrary barrier preventing us from going into this bear this area before we took on the ghost gym. Um, does this just go back to the same place as we were earlier with that couple? Yes. Okay. So that was a that was a nice little short dungeon. Um, I don't think there was anything else for me to explore because that's just where I came from. And then this goes to... Yeah, okay, so all all these paths lead to ultimately the same place. So that was a, again, short, short, quick little dungeon. Um, might even take on a gym this episode if there's uh, not a ton of drama here in Balanlea. Though... I'm not sure if I want to, because again, I still don't have, I'm still, I still don't have Rip Skarmory fully evolved, which is what I was really hoping for. Be right back. 
All right, let's see what there is to see here in Balan Leia. Uh, what do you have to say, kid? Frank, that's my granddad's name. Grand granddas? Gr granddad? Uh, I'm a Pokemon, have a battle with me. Listen for a second. Scorbunny and Sizzlepeed are different species, but they're still both Pokemon. Yeah? Scorbunny and I are different species, just like Sizzlepeed and I are different too. If you think about it in that way, there's no problem with calling me a Pokemon. I don't mind. What? You don't worry about me? Even I know it's pretty lofty logic. I I wanted to become a Pokemon once. You well, good good luck with that, buddy. That's rough, buddy. A change of fashion style could change the way I feel too. I can make myself feel the way a Pokemon does. I'll become a Pokemon, don't you think? N not. Do you please put on some clothes with a fiery spirit that embodies my burning feelings? Okay, so I guess maybe do we have to wear like the fire uniform and then we can get something from him? Is that what he wants? I might try that out. Opal's gym stadium is a small theater. Interior crocodile alligator. I drive a Chevrolet Pokemon theater. Uh, looking for Frank, that'd be me. What's this, you got a letter addressed to me? Oh, I completely forgot about this. This is why it pays to talk to every single NPC you meet. Uh, let's see here. Do, 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 do. Never met her. How is she? Did she look well? Um, quiet type. Yeah, uh, reckon I gotta give you something. Yeah, I legitimately don't remember what was going on, but we get a choice scarf out of it. That's a very good item in multiplayer. I will not be using it in single player because it's kind of limiting, honestly. All right, little, all right, kid. I know how it goes. Sometimes you just gotta talk to a wall. Got some mushrooms. Uh, can I can I talk to this girl? Doesn't look like it. She's communing with nature. Best not bother her. Uh, defeated Stoneside's gym leader. Probably know your way around a TM like this one in that case. Sure, TM42 Revenge. Is that the fighting type one? Yes, Revenge is the fighting type one. Payback is the dark type one. Uh, not gonna be using that since I already have close combat. Uh, your Pokemon's strong without it evolving? Uh, do you mean holding B? Uh, oh, I guess we're fighting a breeder now. Elena, one letter off from me. Uh, okay, so you're gonna use a Dottler. Um, can I just cheese this? Because that would be really anticlimactic, but... Okay, no. I have to put in some degree of effort here. Um... All right, well, if you're gonna put up a special barrier, I might as well just swap you in, because the next snipe shot's gonna do less damage. And you have type advantage anyway, so probably for the best. Also doesn't hurt that I resist this. Uh, I'm gonna use Drill Peck, and that should take care of this. Nice and easy. Do uh, oh, Rip Skarmory is so close to evolving. I need literally like one more battle. Uh, all right, even though my Dottler hasn't evolved yet, it was hard to take down, wasn't it? The secret is, oh, Eevee Alight, okay. Yeah, if you give this item to a Pokemon that isn't fully evolved, it boosts its defenses, um, which that item is really, really funny to me because it caused uh, some wacky antics in the world of competitive Pokemon, where basically, uh, not, not want to go around missing items. Oh, uh, TM21 Rest. Always useful. Again, I'm not going to use it, but it's just, motherfucker. This is what, this is, talking while playing video games makes you bad at talking and bad at playing video games. Um, come on. There we go. Wasn't even important. Um, did I see like a, a f glimmer in between? No, 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 that's nothing. Okay. Um, all right, well, I guess we can just go straight into the gym, which I mean, I certainly don't mind. So I'll just 
put Rip Skarmory out front since it is incredibly close to evolving, and once it does, it should be able to just steamroll its way through this place. So, uh, yeah, let's just take on the gym while we're here, you know? Oh, it's Marnie. Uh, what's up with you? Got four gym badges? I'm gonna have to watch out for you, huh? Uh, more Peko. I was thinking about using one of those things on my team, but uh, I ultimately, for for various reasons, ultimately decided to go with uh, Dummy Thick. I'll uh, get around to using Dummy Thick in a battle one of these days. We'll see. Uh, this means you'll think you're my rival from now on, okay? Aren't too many gym challengers left, you know? So we're meeting in the finals. You got that? Wait, so do the challengers get, like, eliminated? Like, if you lose to a gym leader, are you out? Uh, oh yeah, we gotta talk to Ball Guy before we, uh, move on. Ah, the Love Ball. Um, yeah, the Love Ball... Oh, I didn't finish, uh, my... Uh, this is a common thing with me, is I not... I do not finish my uh, anecdotes very often, and it's frustrating to listen to when I'm editing, because I'm like, just just finish the story, Max, you were so close. Um, all right, I have no idea what this gym challenge is gonna be. Um, yeah, th it caused a funny thing in competitive Pokemon where basically, for many generations, Blissey was one of the best uh, walls because it had pretty good special defense and just an insane amount of health. Um, I think, I forget if Blissey still holds the health record, but if it doesn't, it's like up there. Um, but then one day they introduce Eviolite and basically really lacking in the color pink. Sorry, sorry, Opal. I love pink, but I was just feeling blue right now. You know, I'm blue da ba dee da ba die. Uh, Sessor to take on the role of gym leader here, so my gym mission serves as an audition of sorts, too. Oh, don't worry, it's simple enough. All you need to do is battle my trainers and answer the questions they ask along the way. Think carefully before answering, though. If you get the wrong answer, the stats of your Pokémon will get lowered? Oh, no. Uh, just think of it as a little fairy-type Pokémon magic to make things interesting. Uh, go all out, show me what you can do. All right, so it's uh, kind of like uh, Blaine's gym from uh, Red, Blue, and Yellow. Fine by me. All right. Uh, oh, right, you're just the um, league administrator or whatever they're called. Um, yeah, basically the stat differences between Chansey and Blissey were, like, not big enough such that putting Eviolite on a Chansey actually made it a better special wall than Blissey, which is like super funny to me. Cause it's like, damn, imagine getting outclassed by your own pre-evolution. It's rough. That is rough. Um, but no, okay. Now that I have that anecdote done, I can talk about the love ball. Cause the love ball is really funny too. Basically, question. Do you know about fairy types weaknesses? Hell yeah, I do. It's it's, it's both of them. It's weak to poison and steel. Was that a... What? <laughs> you can't... Okay, fine. I mean, if you just want to give me a free stat boost, I'll take it. But that's, uh... It's not exactly how you're supposed to write questions. I don't know, man. All right, Rip Skarmory finally hits level 68. Um... Since we want raw power, I'm going to go with Roadhog. Um, so, uh, the Love Ball, when it was introduced in Generation 2, what the Love Ball is supposed to do is that it gives you a better chance of um, catching the Pokemon if it's the opposite gender as yours, which isn't really worth using most of the time because, uh, like... Like, you can't really control that in most circumstances. There are just better options. But hilariously, in um, gold and silver, when they first introduced it, it was uh, it was bugged, so it did the opposite of what it was supposed to do. So the Love Ball had a better chance of catching Pokemon that were the same gender as yours, so it, like, inadvertently became, like, the Gay Rights Ball. And that's just great. Um, Liquidation is a very, very good water-type move, but it's 
physical, so not what we want on Tea Lizard. So we are not learning that. All right, that was pretty easy. And we should get, yes, finally, we get our steel type. So now I can steamroll this gym even harder than I was already going to. Also, Corviknight just looks sick. Just straight up. Um, yeah, I know I mentioned before how much I love the designs in this game, but they really are top-notch as far as uh, Pokemon designs go. Um, really good work from uh, the team there. I'm going to get rid... I mean, I could get rid of any of these. I'm not really going to use any of these. I should, I should teach... Uh, Rip Skarmory some new moves, because I uh, should, should see what uh, TMs and TRs this thing can get. Um, it doesn't really have much coverage right now. We'll deal with that in the, in the next episode. All right, Opal, what you got for me next? Uh, I'm the second trainer. Don't worry about the last question. Let's keep moving forward. Implying I was ever worried about the last question. Uh, I'm going to throw out a Swirlix. Alright, let's try out Steel Wing. Um, now, if my luck serves... Uh, if I know my I was about to say if I know my luck, this will miss. Because Steel Wing is not 100% accurate. You will get shafted occasionally on that move, and it is worth it the vast majority of the time, because there usually aren't a lot of other good options. Uh, but uh, it's a risk you have to take. What was the previous trainer's name? It was a net. There we go. Don't even know how I remembered that. Don't even know why I was expected to remember that. Yep, yeah, see, there you go. It happens. Um, is this thing even, I didn't, okay, I don't think Aromatisse is half psychic. It's got decent defenses, unfortunately. Uh, that shouldn't do much of anything. Yeah, Rip Skarmory is real bulky. Um, and being steel type means that it's got a gazillion resistances now. So, uh, yeah, this thing, this thing is a beast. I'm so glad we are finally to the point where all of my Pokémon are fully evolved, so I don't look, like, completely incompetent anymore. Um, cause it's like, no, I swear, this is my favorite franchise, I play these games all the time, I'm so good, I know all this stuff about team composition, and I'm out here, like, almost losing to Hop like a clown. Okay, Theodora. What have you got? Yeah, more ground of your own. So you are a woman of culture. Uh, yeah, get pressure. Pressure is um not really an ability that is worth caring about in single player. Oh no, this is not going to be pleasant. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot one thing that makes a uh, the Morgrem line. Or not the Morgrim line, the Impidimp line. Question, what do I eat for breakfast every morning? How am I so oh. Okay. I was about to get really mad, but they made it easy. All right, let's just keep gambling. I don't see a better option. Um, one thing about the uh, Impidimp line is that mother... They all have um, Prankster, which is... A very useful ability. Come on. Yes! Yeah! There we go. Uh, in that it makes all of your status moves go first. Um, which is very useful for screwing with people if you have something like... Um, mm, I'll stay in against a Gardevoir. It's not expecting to fight one of these things so early. Um, love me a Gardevoir. Unfortunately... Have to kill this one. Uh, R.I.P. my waifu. Get out of here. Yeah, I saw a couple people. There was, I saw at least one person in the uh, comments of a previous episode 
who was surprised that I went for Gallade over Gardevoir. And I ensure you, that is not because I'm not obsessed with Gardevoir. It's just because I wanted a fighting type, and I I liked Gallade. I don't know, man. It it fit the team comp. I wanted a fighting type. I wanted a psychic type. Uh, congratulations, you've successfully completed the gym mission. Now I wonder if you've met the standards of the gym leader. Uh, yeah, of course. Let's let's get this moving. Come on, I passed all three of the questions. I beat all the trainers. I'm ready to go. Let's do it. Let's throw the fuck down. Let's beat up this old lady. Nah, I, I respect Opal. She's cool. I like her vibe. Chaotic old lady vibe is a very good energy. Suppose it's a bit late to introduce myself. I'm Opal. Gotten a good look at how you handled those quizzes. Last part of the mission is me. Let me have a look at how you and your partner Pokemon behave. Take your time. No rush. Yeah! Let's get that banging music going again. Weezing. Oh, love Galarian Weezing with his stupid stovepipe hat design. It's goofy in the best way. Um, now, I actually don't want to use Steel Wing against this thing because since it's half poison, I'm pretty sure poison is resistant to steel. Whatever. This thing does not have Levitate, unlike normal Weezing, so I can just Earthquake it. So uh, that's what I'm going to do because I think that has better odds. I think. Let's, we're gonna find out if I'll regret this shortly. Thankfully, Weezing, uh, neither form of Weezing has particularly good offenses. Question, you, do you know my nickname? The magic user? No. Harshly fell. Lame. All right, well, I guess we're getting hit with another fairy wind first. I didn't catch, did she say? Wow, I'm just, I'm, this, uh, this battle isn't doing me any favors. Thankfully, again, this thing's defenses aren't great, so. No harm, no foul. I'll just come in and use some steel wings against it. For some reason, I thought that Galarian Weezing had a different ability. I thought that it had some like unique thing. Or maybe it has like two ability options and the new ability is just one of them. That's probably what it is. Um, if this is super effective, I'm gonna feel extra stupid. I feel extra stupid. But you know what? It's a learning process. This is what happens when you uh, step away from a game for like three months. Oh, I see, this is, it's pink, right? Not what I like to see for myself. <laughs> oh, so she's just gonna randomly lower my, my stats. I'm fine with that. Adds an element of challenge. Yeah, there we go. All right, won't be fucking things up in the future. All right, got some more levels. Mawile. Uh, oh, see, this one I can actually use Roadhog against because Mawile's half steel. And this will get rid of that debuff she put on me just now. So, seems like the reasonable thing to do. Uh, I kind of miss um, Mega Evolutions. Th those were one of my favorite features from the older, from previous generations. Mawile had a sick Mega Evolution is the only reason I think of that. Like, I get what they're trying to do where they, like, want to introduce different features every generation to, like, mix things up. But, uh, I mean, the issue is that with that is that sometimes you get a feature... Oh, you know what? Mmm. Okay, Dummy Thick has advantage on this thing because it's weak to electric, but... Because it's half dragon, it's vulnerable to fairy. So, just play it safe, just go back to Rip Skarmory. Um, 
see what Togekiss has in store for us. Togekiss, another Pokemon I love and absolutely would have used on my team. Just so many good options in this region, man. Uh, that shouldn't do too much. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right, that's about what I expected. Might have to heal up sooner rather than later, because this will probably drop me to yellow. Yeah. All right, easy enough. And now we enter the Gigantamax phase of the battle, or the Dynamax phase of the battle. I keep mixing those up. Um, mm, I might lead with a Hyper Potion, maybe? Yeah, I'll just stay in. I don't know. Morning Tea is finally kicking in. <laughs> this is your strongest Pokemon? Alrighty then, how old? Oh my. I'm just gonna answer wrong on purpose. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Opal. I like you. I like you a lot, and you know what? We're just gonna YOLO this and see how it goes. Because I may be at low health, but I. I don't have. No offense, Opal. I don't have a lot of confidence in Alcremie's offensive capabilities, especially since Rip's Armory is kind of a beast. All right, before we can get this going, gotta watch her transformation sequence. Oh, everybody gangster till the uh, the character whose eyes are always half open opens their eyes all the way. Yeah. That's a little more intimidating. You gotta fight a fucking wedding cake. You do love the max moves. Those look. Yeah! Take that! Fuck out of here, B. No one's getting married today. And that gives less experience than the Togekiss, because life is cruel and unfair. At least we're getting swole. All right, and that's the battle. <laughs> Love it. Pink is still lacking, but you're an excellent trainer with some excellent Pokemon. I just realized she is, oh yeah, the dress is kind of a jersey. You can see like the little writing on it up there. Well, good try, not bad, not bad and all. Still not what I'm looking for. Don't worry yourself about it, child. It's just a matter of my preference. I'll find the next gym leader elsewhere. I don't know, I would not want to be a gym leader. Like, having to stick to one type only, like, it's just, uh, you know, it feels very limiting. It's like, this is why I keep making fun of Bede. Bede would make a good gym leader, but he's a bad rival. Like, I know what I'm getting every time I fight Bede. He's gonna use a bunch of psychic types, and I'm going to hit him with uh, dark moves and uh, own his ass. Whatever, we get a TM uh, for Draining Kiss. At this point in the game, not particularly useful. We get the fairy uniform as well. Pretty cool. Uh, not good to neglect your elders, but old folk like me should also know when it's time to step out of the spotlight. Oh, Opal. You're a cool character. I respect you. Uh, alright, so I guess the next gym, they're just, alright, they're just, uh, filing us straight along. We're going to Church Church Churchester next. Uh, which is, is it this place? Yes, so it looks like we're going to be taking on an Ice-type gym next, and... It will probably require us going east from Hammerlock. Um, however, my guess is this episode is already past 30 minutes already, and the minute I leave this gym, there's going to be another goddamn cutscene, so I'm going to end it here. Next time on Let's Play Pokemon Shield, we head over to Churchester. See ya!